Ah, okay, yeah, I'm gonna make a response video to the amazingly large jar of toe jam. <laughs> uh, I don't think I've ever said toe jam in my life, but there you go. Do something new every day. Anyway, um, yeah, yeah, so he made this video, and I remember I saw part of it because I was just curious whether he killed Cody yet. And so I thought I'd watch, you know, see a new video because he moved and such. You know, something always happens when you move. It, you know, should be interesting. But anyway, that's why I watched the damn video. And I said, man, you know what? This is a really dumb video. I couldn't even watch it to the end because I said, man, he's just being such an asshole about this. All right, so I was going to make a video response, but I just didn't have the energy for it. Um, so anyway, some, somebody sent me a PM and pointed to it and said, you know, I should. And so I said, you know what? If yeah, that's two votes, so what the hell. So that's what I'm going to do. So here I go. I'm going to do that now. Yeah, it's really, that's sort of a nice portrait there. But Anyway, uh, you know, I'm with business here. Hit this button. Hello, fucktards. <laughs> me? I know it's been several internet years since you last saw my face, but I moved from Louisiana to Illinois. What? All right, let's see if I have anything to say about that. Super. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Super. When I was driving through the fine state of Missouri, I noticed these... <laughs> yeah, they're all fine states, aren't they? Have you gotten to a state yet you really like? I mean, I mean it's just parts of states, right? Or maybe... Well, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. They all suck, TJ. Newsflash. Signs that said, uh, hit a worker, $10,000 fine, and have your license suspended. Which would be easy if all these guys didn't think they were protected by Superman personally and that he would swoop down and stop my car from smashing them with my grill. <laughs> I just don't get this. So it's just way too much work for you to have to like slow down and swerve around road crews and you don't really feel any obligation to have like a heightened sense of concern that yeah it's you know if I'm going too fast and something happens it's pretty easy to pick one of those guys off and they're just trying to make a living oh making a li yeah an honest living oh yeah no shouldn't do that then I got to the state of Illinois and they had the same sign it said hit a worker ten thousand dollar fine but it didn't say license suspended it said 14 years in jail so, if you hit a worker... Up to, it probably said, though, right? Probably said up to. Yeah, maybe, probably, possibly, maybe. But anyway. Oh, Illinois, uh, be sure to drag his fucking carcass to Missouri, where he... <laughs> this is a really a funny subject, you know? We really should make jokes about this kind of... Can you make some coal miner dead coal miner jokes? Those are really hilarious. Like, oh, you mean the little kid is standing over the coal mine where his dead father comes up the elevator, and then the, uh, his dead father's, like, all dead and so It's funny. <laughs> you just lose your license, because you don't want to go to jail for 14 years. Anyway, enough of that bullshit. Last night I was watching Anderson Cooper 360 on CNN. And he was talking about bullying and how fucking tragic it is that all these kids who get bullied end up offing themselves. The ultra PC elements of society have labeled this phenomena bully side. Yeah, and I'm sure you've seen our culture do that kind of crap before. Uh, like, uh... Islamicide. Like the Islamis come over here, they blow up a building or something, and then we spend two trillion dollars going to war about it and such. Yeah. yeah people are fucktards. Yeah. Newsflash. Hey, that got reverse vampire there. Anyway. How wonderfully Orwellian. Tyler Clementi. And oh, yeah, come on. I mean, it really isn't. It's really not Orwellian because you know how people work. I mean, you know, it's this, um, uh, if it bleeds, it leads thing. You've heard that before, I'm sure, TJ. Yeah, so you could just say, oh, well, the press is doing the typical bullshit. They only care when somebody's bleeding. 18-year-old freshman at Rutgers University committed suicide by jumping off the George Washington Bridge. 
Yes, and now you've just used him to used his name and the text and the tags, and I used his image and you know. So he's just more just stuff to get ground up in everybody else's agenda. After his roommate taped him having gay sex and apparently tweeted about it or something. Other Yeah, so it's not uh, that dissimilar to I was there first, right? And so, when you did that whole spiel about, Captain Austin, if I see you, I'm going to make your face into shit, all that was just crap, because you didn't see any need for there to be anything to prevent people from basically, you know, terrorizing and ruining people, uh, you know, by violating a trust. Yeah, no, we shouldn't, we shouldn't do anything to discourage people from violating a trust. That wouldn't be something a civilization could possibly be interested in. Victims of bully side who ended up killing themselves because they were taunted for being gay include Asher Brown, 13, Billy Lucas, 15, and Seth Walsh, 13. And they all committed suicide apparently within a one-month time frame. Phoebe Prince killed... Yeah, so I guess it's sort of like, you know, when you have that little uptick in, in you know, in the, the um, who's getting hurt index, and people take notice. And it's sad that that's when they take notice, because obviously it goes on all the time, and no one gives a damn, and there's lots of, um, you know, people who just don't, um, yeah, who no one cares about. <laughs> unfortunately until they are dead people seem to pe people do care more when you're dead maybe that's a good subject for a video TJ that somehow you know for an awful lot of people on this earth they're nobody until they're dead herself at the age of 15 because her classmates were calling her a slut in this case as well as in the case of Tyler Clementi charges are being filed against the bullies now I yeah, now, I don't think we should ever file a charge or force somebody to account for their behavior and maybe demonstrate in court how they weren't maliciously trying to harm another human being. Because people should be allowed to maliciously harm other human beings. That's the way the world should work. We should be able to maliciously, for no good reason, and in some unfair and stupid manner, harm each other. Because that's what makes life really, really tasty is to have lots of harm. I think I've heard you say that, actually. The suffering makes it taste better. Yeah, I think I've heard you say something like that. I have a few questions about this whole bully side thing. The first of which is, when did suicide become so revered in our culture? Every time I turn on the news... Mm, well, I mean, there have been people, you know, give me liberty or give me death. And, uh, you know, that kind of idea, you know, where, you know, and there's all kinds of examples. I mean, Jesus basically committed suicide, right? I mean, he knew what was coming, and he just kind of took it like a man. And so it was basically a suicide, uh, basically, basically. And I hear about one of these stories, all the reporters can talk about is these poor kids driven to suicide. Well, uh, you know what? That doesn't even sound right, okay? Because all I hear, look in the comments on your own video, all I hear is a lot of fucking pussies who haven't lived, you know, any life at all, calling people wimps and cowards. I always hear that. I always hear the Glenn Beck fucktards of the world do some sort of, oh, buck up, uh, you poor people. Come on, play along. Uh, eat your dioxin and shut the hell up. Uh, eat your oil burger. You know, and shut the fuck up. Quit whining, you bastards. I mean, this is just a little bit duplicitous of you. <laughs> you know, when I was going to high school, if someone got bullied and they killed themselves because of it, we called that person a pussy. Yeah, well, you grew up in this moron south. That sounds pretty ignorant. I mean, I remember we had two people, I think, while I was in high school commit suicide. One of them was a star football player. And, uh, I can't remember the other one offhand. But anyway, uh, yeah, nobody was calling them pussies. Everybody was just, like, you know, disappointed and sad and kind of disturbed that, you know, this happened. 
but yeah, I'm sure assholes like you can't see past this simplistic nonsense. So I guess, TJ, you've never contemplated suicide, and when you did, it was because you were a pussy, right? It wasn't because you were doing some sort of accounting of your life and realized, oh yeah, this is just complete bullshit. Um, no, it's because you had the big fat ball of pussy in your head. No, oh, that, <laughs> that sounds good, actually. I uh, retract that and uh, replace it with something more appropriate. You're thought of as weak. Everyone said that about suicide when I was growing up. Oh, gee, so everybody says it. That means it must be the right perspective, correct? Because everybody was like that. They also were probably saying that N-word more when you were growing up, too. They were probably doing lots of shit when you were growing up that, you know, people have evolved past and maybe have gotten a little deeper in their thinking. People who committed suicide were thought of as losers. What? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I mean, I think a society that, uh, you know, where people actually invest years of their life and they still can't make any sense out of it and have to actually jump off a building and get the fuck out or off a bridge or something else is maybe a commentary on the shit of a world assholes and fuckwits and pig slop like yourself have created. You stupid, slimy, grease pig, fuck, fuck. The sudden change. <laughs> what? What's with Anderson Cooper and everyone else in the media now declaring that these suicidal teens are something? Yeah, well, look, again, let's not talk about these stupid fucks in the media, because you know they're just, they're just a using whatever's happening. They'll just use it, okay? They're selling fucking ads like you, asshole. They don't have a, there's nothing sincere, so what are you talking like you have, ah, oh, we have to, yeah, blah, 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 you know. Sort of victims, that they're some sort of heroes, because they couldn't handle their own lives and decide. Yes, instead of deciding to go get some guns and bombs and columbine and blow everybody the fuck to shit, that would have been a much more rational way to deal with their pain, is to get revenge. That would have been the amazing atheist way. Yeah, I remember you liked those guys. Yeah, that would be your way. Yeah, I'll take a bunch. I'll bloody them all up. Yeah. I had to end them prematurely. And doesn't the idea of making bullying a crime just encourage more teen suicides? If oh, jeez, this, I can't wait to hear this. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know that was coming. He's going to sit there and try to somehow say that bullying is going to encourage suicide? If, if, we, if we pass a law that says you can't maliciously fuck up somebody's life, like um, violate a trust or gang up on somebody or, you know, catch their house on fire. Yeah, that'd be just terrible. We have passed laws against this kind of behavior. I was a teenager, and I knew that I could get revenge on all my bullies by killing myself, and they would have to face criminal prosecution. Don't you... Oh, man, you know, that is really lame. I mean, I know they've made movies like where somebody, you know, makes this, you know, murders, you know, commits suicide and plants evidence to make it look like somebody they hated, you know, killed them. And, uh, yes, it's a theoretical possibility, but again, that's almost like the Columbine things. That's like people committing suicide, not because of the fact that they're, I mean, that's just using it. It's more people using something as a device. And so, that, are you going to make that accusation that these, these other, well, I'm not even going to get into it, but, I mean, come on. This, this is, this is stupid. Do you think that gives me some incentive to kill myself? Don't you think that outlawing bullying is actually going to kill more of these poor kids? Of course, the media doesn't really care. Uh, I mean, that's really stupid. No, I mean, it's not going to kill more. It's just going to make them, you know, give them more power to use suicide as a weapon. And, yeah, I think if we just legalize suicide, then we don't have to worry about this shit anymore, okay? Because then the people using suicide to get attention or you know, to make a name for themselves or to make a dramatic statement at somebody, to use it as an aggressive weapon, yeah, that, that'll be taken away from them. So they won't be able to use it as a way of thumbing their nose at something. They'll just be able to say, look, I want out because I can't take it. And then they'll, you know, the worst they'll get is some asshole like you who will, um, <laughs> you know, um, 
use a bunch of um, insulting and humiliating rhetoric because somebody